Hi again, it's uh, Hammer and Free Collectibles here uh, with another video. Uh, before we uh, start this this video here, uh, if you if you like the content, please uh, give me a like or uh, comment on this this video. And uh, if you're uh, a new viewer, um, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, and uh, if, if you can, if you check out my website at handfreecollectibles.com. Anyway, uh, today's the topic is is uh, is uh, uh, let's say let's let uh, I like to talk about three three comic books here that 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 were in the spec list, uh, and of course uh, uh, this one here, the first one is uh, Avengers Forever number six and of course uh, everybody was uh, was looking for this book because uh, this is the first appearance of the Vibranium Man in which it's a sort of like a, a takeoff of the Black Panther in a different different uh, um, uh, universe or or uh, dimension and of course uh, this this book was going for at least twenty four twenty five dollars plus, but now I think it sort of dropped down the price. And of course, uh, um, I don't think anybody cares about this book anymore because uh, you know. Anyway, that's uh, that's how it is. So, so sometimes anyway, and of course, yeah. Okay, and and, and let's talk about the. Uh, this book here, the Ambassadors, number one. This is uh, the first print of this series, and uh, of course, it's it's by uh, Mark Miller, Miller, you know, and and of course uh, he's in this book to revamp the. Uh, oh, no, I don't know if it. Re re revamp but it's 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 uh it's boosting the sales on on image comics here and and of course uh, uh of course the this this is this this series has been optioned for a tv series and apparently it has been com confirmed for it and maybe that's why Everybody wants this book, and currently, either you can get it, but uh, uh, maybe this one will be a good, good uh, spec book to to get now. But I don't know about about later anyway. Anyway, so yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, is this just, just the reason why I got this? Is is uh, of course. It could be a cover buy for myself, but uh, I I also read read the the, the series and um, and it's it's a good 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 read and I'll probably be looking for it in the volume two of this series coming out uh, probably later this year or next year, yeah. And last one. The last book that I like to talk talk about is is this one here, Spider Man <laughs> number seven, in which uh, of course is is the first appearance or slash cameo appearance of Spider Boy, in which uh, um, I don't know if you want to argue about it because uh, uh, of course I read this book and looked through it. And 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 this looks like the the Spider Boy was in in uh, in one 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 or two pa panels, I guess. And uh, and I thought thought that Spider Man number eight had more panels, right? So um, anyway, um, uh, people might argue about this because uh, because of. Uh, uh, Incredible Hulk 180 is a cameo of Wolverine 
and of course the full appearance is Incredible Hulk 181 for the first full appearance of Wolverine but anyway uh, yeah but anyway this, this, this one is a good read and uh, and but basically this is a variant cover in which uh, um, which 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 has this uh, spider boy on the cover and um, and of course uh, this could be uh, not only the camera appearance of spider boy but he's on the cover yeah so anyway so what so what do you think um, about this this book and possibly uh, con controversy about it um, so if you, if you want you can um, comment make a comment co comment on the, in this video about it or uh, just go with the flow as they say so anyway um, yeah so anyway thanks for viewing this video and uh, then the next video bye bye for now